All right, today I'm gonna to show you guys how to use Twixter using real world examples in After Effects CS5.5. Okay, first thing you wanna do is uh, import your footage. So after starting up After Effects into a new project, you wanna to go to your project panel, right click, go to import, import file. Then you wanna click or select whatever footage that you'd like to have the Twixter effect to go on. So mine is MV Movie 2549. I'll change that to uh, it's called Trick since it's a BMX Trick, my friend. Then you want to drag your footage into the new composition button right here. All right, cool. Next thing you want to do is go to composition, composition settings, and down here where it says duration, you want to change that at least give it a good 10 seconds more of uh, duration. So I have six seconds, so I'll delete zero. And I'll put in 20 seconds just to have a bit more time. So the original was six seconds, now it's 26. Okay, click all right. Uh, next, you wanna zoom out to see all of your timeline. So you got a lot of room. And uh, as you can see here, we have a little problem. Your footage immediately ends as it's supposed to. So you're thinking, well, shoot, my comp setting is really long. So how the heck do I make it longer? At least my footage. Well, this is what you do. You right click on your layer settings or your layer panel whatever you want to call it. Go to right click, time, enable time remapping. Now what you want to do is you want to drag out your footage all the way to the end of your comp. All right, cool. Now, here comes the fun part. Uh, under your layer panel, you want to right click, new, solid. Make sure it's your comp size, so right, uh, left click, make comp size, if you're not sure if it's the size of your comp. Um, now, you want to go to left click, effect, Revision plugins, Twixter Pro, or wherever Twixter is installed for you. And you'll find a bunch of buttons here. Now, for display, you want to go to source. For under source control, for color source, you want to click it to trick, or whatever your video is called. Input frame rate, if you shot at full uh, 720p, you probably shot it at 60 frames per second. And if not, you're an idiot, and you should shoot at 60 frames per second. Right? Not 1080p, 720p at 60 frames per second. Unless you have a magic camera that can shoot at full 1080 at, at 60. Anyway, so you put in your native frame rate, minus 59.947. Uh, you want to check your motion vectors, make sure they're selected as best. Image prep, uh, sure you can add contrast edge enhance. All it does is just enhance the edges, makes it look a little bit better. Time remap mode, set it to speed. Uh, speed leave it 100% for now. Frame interpretation, put it to motion weighted blend. Warping, uh, select it to forward since that works for me the most. Uh, motion blur compensation, uh, I, I would set it at one because it also gives it more of enhancement to the edge than just the image prep does and it makes it look a little bit better and it takes some motion blur out of the uh, tracking so that helps. Uh, main background layer settings, you don't have to do anything to that for now. So now you got your settings ready, now it's time to put in the keyframes. So now you want to go down to your layer panel, open up uh, your solid, go to effects, Twixter Pro, and output control. So what you want to do now is under speed, or to the left of it actually, click the little stopwatch to uh, toggle the ability of property to change over time. Yes, I read it directly from that little bar. Uh, so click that and it'll add a keyframe for you. So now keyframes are enabled in that layer. Now, what you want to do is you want to go where the uh, you want to start to ramp down your footage for the slow mo effect to happen. So, mine would start somewhere around here, and then really go into full effect slow mo right here. So, let's put it right here. I'll click that again, leave it at a hundred, which is a hundred percent of the original speed, which is obviously the original speed. Go to where I would like my. Uh, footage to really start to slow down to the max and mine would be right there so about 1.10 seconds alright so under speed you wanna select a number if you're going for very very slow motion anywhere from 5 to 20 me I'm gonna use 5 since I'm gonna make this thing really slow mo and really give the effect off so now you're noticing nothing's happening. Okay, this is why. You want to go to display, set your source to Twixtered. 
So your display is just showing the full-on source video itself. This, uh, having the display to Twixer output shows your viewport looking at the uh, actual output of Twixer itself, doing its magic. So as soon as we've done that, look at that, Twixer is doing its magic. The reason why I can look at this so smoothly is because I have a GTX 580 with an overclocked i7 2600K with 16 gigabytes of 2000 megahertz RAM. Oh yeah. Um, so now that Twixter is enabled, you want to select where you want to sort of ramp up the footage back to the original speed, if you'd like. Um, I would put mine about here. So go back to this little diamond area here and add a keyframe by clicking onto it. Leave it at the original speed that your last keyframe had. Mine was 5. This is also 5. Uh, and I would like the ramp to go back to its original speed right here to end it. So to click the little diamond again, punch it back up to 100%, which is the original speed of any footage that you shoot. And there you go. Now let's uh, RAM preview this to see what it looks like. All right, cool. Let's see what it looks like now. What would you look at that? Now, does that look bodaciously awesome or what? Of course it does. So, now you guys know how to do uh, Twixter, at least in the basic parts of the program. And if you stick around for a little bit longer, I can show you guys how to use Advanced Twixter, which is using the track points that come with Twixter itself, known as these little guys. So, uh, thanks for watching. Now go make some cool stuff with Twixter.